I think, the, first of all, I will tackle maybe whether the PEP will stimulate uh, innovation. Uh, I, I, think it, I think the answer is yes. I think it's already stimulated a lot of discussion about uh, distribution model, pricing, uh, robo-advice, some of the things we'll talk about a bit later. Uh, and I think it's really put a push behind thinking about how those could help going forward. Um, certainly, I think it's stimulated discussions about online distribution. Um, and indeed, it's, it's already generated a lot of very interesting and I think good ideas in terms of how to present complex information in a simple way. And we'll talk about that a bit later. So that it's had some definite positive effects. Important element is that the PEP will contribute for better pension adequacy in the future for the European citizens, uh, and that is in, that is incredibly important because we need to have more social cohesion. We need to avoid old age poverty. We need to have the young generations trusting in Europe also for be building, uh, you know, uh, of course, pensions, uh, a good pensions adequacy. Within ten years, we think of PEP as. As a D D pension product for European citizens. Dragos, I have a broader view here. A breakthrough in actually getting a more European dimension into the pension market overall. Europe.